Well, let us talk about multi-tenancy because this is a very important thing when uh, people are considering Cognito for uh, their production use cases, especially for SaaS applications. And the answer is most people do not use Cognito for big apps. It's usually for B2B stuff or internal stuff because the multi-tenancy and uh, generally availability of Cognito across regions is not great. But let's take a look at what we have for multi-tenancy for Cognito. So first let's define what multi-tenancy is just in case you don't know what it is. When you have multiple customers, tenants, who use the same app building, we can say workload as well, but their data is logically isolated from each other. Um, Multi-tenancy is common for SaaS apps where you have organizational style accounts. Uh, and the idea of this is where multiple users belonging to a group or organization, or you have B2B style web apps where uh, they wanna have that level of separation. Okay, so hopefully that was clear. But uh, here we have the advantages and disadvantages and the types we have. So we have per tenant uh, based on user pool, app clients, user pool groups, and custom attributes. So the advantage for user pools is that you have per tenant user pools, and this has extensive customization options. Uh, the disadvantage here is highly complex, uh, highly complexity and cost. Each new tenant increases management overhead. But to me, this is the one that basically is true multi-tenancy and the rest, I don't really consider them uh, true multi-tenancy because it doesn't, it doesn't isolate enough data to actually be multi-tenancy in my opinion. But anyway, this is what AWS's docs say that they have. So if we're talking about uh, per tenant per app client, we, it simplifies or it's simpler to manage than multiple user pools, it's cost effective. The disadvantage here, it's limited data isolation, customization options limited to app client settings. For per tenant user pool groups, uh, it simplifies permissions and roles managements within a single user pool. It's cost effective and simpler than multiple user pools. For disadvantages, limited data isolation, complexity increases with the number of groups and tenants. Uh, per tenant custom attributes, so flexible storage tenant specific data within user profile, simple and cost effective. Limited number of custom attributes provides less data isolation compared to separate user pools. So really the only one that really is real multi-tenancy is per tenant user pools. If you wanna see diagrams of these, they're all in the docs uh, for AWS, but I really don't find all these other ones really matter that much. But when you're thinking as a solution architect, you need to understand that multi-tenancy component. And just remember that if you're gonna do multi-tenancy with Cognito, use separate user pools, okay?